Welcome everybody, Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by the head coach of the Valpo baseball team, Brian Schmack, as we take a look back at this weekend series against Missouri State. And Brian, I think first you have to give credit where credit is due. The first place team in the conference came in and took all three games, becoming the first team to sweep you here in four years. And uh, what was it that impressed you about Missouri State? Extremely solid. You know, the pitching was very deep. Uh, I thought that uh, every guy they ran out there was really, really good. Um, you know, kind of kept us off balance, had very good arms. They, I thought they played great defense. You know, we kind of looked back and it was some, some real clean games from them. Uh, you know, lineup is, is pretty stacked also. I think depth is kind of the word that uh, sticks out, you know, and on the offensive, defensive side. So just an extremely solid team and really can see why they're in first place. And it's a question that I've asked before, but it bears repeating. I mean, the close games uh, have been numerous, and many of them have gone the other way, which on one hand has to be encouraging that at least you're playing close games and not getting blown out in your losses. But on the other hand, you're not winning those close games. What's that like as a head coach? Wow, yeah, extremely frustrating. Like you said, it's good that you're in those games and you're not getting blown out necessarily. Um, you know, maybe means you're close a little bit, but you just got to find ways to win. You know, sometimes it just comes down to that, and um, you know, a guy has to step up and, and fight through something. You know, maybe he doesn't have his stuff, but he, you know, mentally has to come back from it. But um, you know, like I said, I think the word depth. You know, I think that uh, um, you know that's something that we have to improve upon as we move through this process and, and the years forward. And um, you know, hopefully those those games start to shift our way. Blake Billinger has continued to hit. He had his 21st double of the season this weekend. He's in position to break the program record for doubles in a year. What have you seen? What have you seen from Blake in his first year with your program? Uh, consistency. You know, he's a big kid, and he, he's very strict in his regimen before the game, and, and the way he approaches his, um, you know, his preparation, and, and it's been paying off for him. Um, you know, got a little, little scare yesterday with a hit by pitch, but everything is good. So it's you know going to be good to see him back in the lineup. But um, you know, he's just he just has a clue of what he wants to accomplish, and, and he sticks to his plan, and he's been able to execute it so far. Uh, Wes Gordon has been strong the last two weekends in particular, and statistically, he's been your best starting pitcher in conference play. What have you seen of him? Out of him, uh, he's he's thrown strikes and he's mixed it up really well. Uh, he's attacking guys. You know, I think he. Probably doesn't have very many walks uh, the last two weeks, especially, and he hasn't had all year, which has been good for him. But uh, he's been a little bit more consistent in the strike zone and the ability to throw breaking balls behind in the count. Uh, you know, off-speed pitches when he's down 1-0, 2-0 has been big because um, you have to honor that, and it's called pitching. That's what he, you know, he's disrupting timing, and he's doing a really good job of that. And here you go, this final stretch of the season, six important conference games against two teams that are very close with you in the standings in Indiana State and Illinois State. What's the importance of these final six conference games? Yeah, huge. Uh, you know, they probably send you in, in a direction two or three different places in the conference. And, um, you know, we'd like to come out and, and make a statement on the positive side and um, not shock people, but just, you know, let them know that we can compete. And, and I think to, to, to be middle of the pack in the conference this first year would be a, a great you know, I think feather in our cap at this point, and uh, it starts it starts this weekend. There he is, the head coach of the Crusaders, Brian Schmack. The Crusaders with two midweek games against Western Michigan before a three-game weekend series on the road at Illinois State. For all the latest in Valpo baseball, check out valpoathletics.com.